Good afternoon. Some areas of the metro are seeing more cars on the road than at the beginning of the pandemic. But it could still be a while before roads return to normal. News 13's Jamie Seymour is live near Rio Grande and Central with the details. Jamie. Jackie, transportation planners say one of the surprising finds from their fall study is that while traffic has increased in some areas, it's down from the summer and significantly low in areas that are normally packed with cars like downtown, the Journal Center, and the southeast near the labs and the airport. There's a lot of variation, and it really is becoming clear that it's tied to activity as well as employment. The areas closest to their pre-pandemic traffic are south of Albuquerque near Valencia County and the west side, though transportation officials are still trying to find out why that is. Senior transportation planner Nathan Masick says traffic studies like this can go beyond just road work and show further infrastructure that's needed, like better internet connections. If we see that uh, employers are allowing folks, more folks to work from home, that's a reduction. That's, that's a travel demand reduction of taking cars off the roadway. Another big change they've seen in this study is the difference in our traditional rush hour peaks. They say the morning peak is much lower than normal since that's normally made up of people heading to work. While midday and evening hasn't seen a big change since that's a combination of work, shopping, and errands. And those behind the study say while traffic is starting to return to normal, it's still going to take a bit to get to those levels where it was in 2016. So they're planning to monitor over the coming months to see if the roadways will be what they call a new normal. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Jamie. The Mid Region Council of Governments plans to resume their normal traffic studies in 2021. They'll also still monitor the 156 COVID locations from this study.